My next photo order is arriving. That best be for me. It'd be awkward if it would be really awkward. <laughs> Good morning everybody today it is friday today i am going to be tackling my wardrobes you might have seen in the last vlog they are feeling a little bit out of control at the moment mainly because there's a lot of kind of very wintry clothes in there that is kind of like piling up i need to go through it there's a lot of like knitwear that isn't really where it should be i need to really go through my wardrobe today have a big sort out i also need to put some stuff into storage because i have a lot of my spring clothes now <clears throat> let me just clear my throat um, I have a lot of spring clothes now coming in so I kind of need to make space for them and if I'm very honest I've all but given up on wearing a coat I literally take my black puffer jacket with me anywhere I go and then I've just kind of stopped wearing a coat I'm sick of it I'm done I'm ready for spring so I'm going to try and kind of cheer on the spring weather and try and kind of encourage it to come out for us all by sorting out my wardrobe I'm also going away on a warm hopefully holiday I'm going to call it a holiday it's more of a work trip, but it's not with a brand, so call it what you want, but it will be fun, but it will be work. And I've got a lot of things to organise for it, so um, I'm going to be showing you what I'm going to be taking away with me in this video as well. But to start off with, I'm going to be showing you how I kind of clear up my wardrobe, and I'm going to be sharing with you a few of my biggest tips that I've learned from my friend Carla, who is a personal stylist, on having a really aesthetically pleasing and also really well organised and very functional wardrobe. I know lots of people think, sorry, I'm just going to put my mug down. I need to switch arms. I know lots of people think that the two don't go together, but they really do. They really can. And we worked on a system together that works really, really well for me. So I've had it in place now for since October. So around five months. Let's go with that. Um, I've had it in place for a little while now and it actually hasn't like changed much at all so I think that's how I know that the system is working quite well for me. There are definitely a few more bits in there now. Uh, my basics pile literally when I first organised this wardrobe. Was it October? Maybe it was before. It might even be like six or seven months that I've had this for. When we first sorted this out I barely had any basics and I really identified that that was an area in my wardrobe that needed a lot more work. It's now very very full so it's looking a little bit more full than it was when we first organized it but overall still pretty neat and tidy if I'm honest and I'm really really happy with the system so because of that I thought I'd share with you some of my favorite tips and I'm going to do a blog post that runs alongside this so if you're more of a reader or you want a really easy way to recap on some of the things that I've kind of talked about in this video then I will link that below for you guys it'd just be like a really handy little guidebook for you if you want to reference back but you don't want to have to watch a whole YouTube video so this is my wardrobe as it stands at the moment the finger spacing has gone slightly out the window when I photograph this or show it normally, I've kind of like separated everything. It normally is a bit more spaced out, but because the coats have moved in, it just means that this end is a little bit more crammed, but hopefully by the end of today, a few more bits will be in storage. There's only a few coats that I'm really wearing at the moment, like the teddy bear coats, I think are gonna need to go in storage pretty soon because it's just not, it's not necessary. It's not cold enough for those. So we'll have a little bit more room to kind of display this, make it look really nice. So up here we have blazers, jumpers, jumper dresses that type of thing I don't really have many of those during the winter and then we go into coats and then down here we have trousers leather trousers and then it goes into jackets we keep all of my casual stuff together and even though my trousers are smart I wouldn't normally wear them with blazers but my blazers are directly above just in case I do want to but normally I would wear my smart trousers or even my leather trousers with more like casual jackets and jumpers and t-shirts so we've got a few of my like snazzy t-shirts kind of hung up I don't know if you can see them very well and then skirts and things like that, that I would pair a graphic tee with so everything in this wardrobe is kind of based around outfit building and it's been working really really well for me so far we also kind of do things by tone but not completely so that you don't lose a whole load of whites in together like if this and this were together they just kind of blend so we kind of group by tone but not by exact color just so you can really see all of the different textures and colors that you've got in your wardrobe any space that really goes out the window is here so got a few whites next to each other but like you can see i really try and break it up with other bits or other textures so we've got my coats on 
this side up here. I've got my washing basket down here, which isn't getting as much use at the moment. I may move it, if I'm honest. Carla has been on at me to move it for such a long time. These are looking a mess, by the way. I just shoved those in the other night, so that doesn't normally look like this. I normally do my shorter coats here and my longer coats back here so that this is like perfectly not in contact with any coats but yeah Carla's been on at me to find a new home for that for a while and I might put it in the utility room just because that's where Ryan has been keeping his washing basket in my flat anyway and it's annoying having two washing baskets because I am really lazy and I just use both so to be honest I might move that into there and just have us use one washing basket I think that would make sense and then it would give me more space to work with in my wardrobe so that is a potential we have my basics and then my jeans so they're all together as really easy outfit building doing your jeans like this is great because top secret but you can actually like store stuff behind your neatly piled jeans so that is my little hack for things looking nice and neat but not actually being nice and neat but I do want to kind of have a rejig of these and just refold, make them look super, super, super neat. I try and go in colour order, as you can see, but we've got a little little dude here, which is uh, not right. That one's bugging me because that needs to move. They need to move. Actually, both of those need to move. So we order by colour. It just is so aesthetically pleasing and so easy to work with when I'm building outfits super quickly. Down here, I need to sort this because this is all of my black knitwear. It's not stored with the rest of my, like, did I say knitwear? Loungewear. It's not stored with the rest of my loungewear, which is up here because this is the stuff I don't reach for as much. However, I am gonna have a sort through this because there is a lot of stuff that I really haven't touched in a very long time. So that's kind of how I'm gonna work out if there's anything that I don't need in my wardrobe so much. Basically, if I haven't touched it since we rejigged my wardrobe last, it ain't staying. So I think it's a good indicator of what I've been using and what I haven't. I've also accumulated a little bit more loungewear and it is a much nicer standard. So I do think some of the really disgusting stuff can finally go. When I cleared out before, I didn't want to be without my gross stuff because when you, I always use my grossest things when I'm like sitting in tan, but I have a couple of jumpsuits, which I love for that now. And they're really ideal for when I've been tanning and if I need to nip out, but I've still got my tan on. So I think I can have a good sort out of that up there. And my hair stuff is down the bottom, but to be honest, I'm happy for that to stay. What I might just do is hoover it out potentially, because I just like to make sure that when I'm doing this, I have a good hoover out of everything. So I kind of go along the bottom and go underneath. So yeah, there's not too much to do, but I am gonna talk you through the little bits that I'm doing as I'm doing it. I'll show you my storage space um, and what I'm taking down there. Yeah, I'm gonna sort this out. I'm gonna get my scarves down as well. They can go into storage because I really haven't worn my scarves in a very long time now. Get sick of layering up after a while, especially when it gets to like, March, I'm like, I should not be wearing a hand scarf. Let's start this. I don't even know how I'm gonna start this, but let's do it. Okay, so as you can see, I've had a quick squiz over this part of the wardrobe. So I started by just taking out some bits that I really know I haven't got the wear out of recently. Took a couple of coats out. There's one top from here that I just thought actually that can be folded with my basics and it was quite a high neck as well. So it was just kind of blocking the hanger line and I just really love the fact that when you look at my hangers, they actually sit like quite nicely and everything is like almost a similar kind of height and it just looks really neat and aesthetically pleasing so yeah I took that out I've done a little bit of finger spacing just now I took a jumper out of here that I just wasn't getting the wear of I've gone kind of gone over everything and just had a little look and uh, just made sure that I want to keep everything I went over my cuffs and I've made them all a very similar length just so that when I look at this bottom rail there's no sleeves hanging down because some of these sleeves are quite long and they dangle like all the way down here and it kind of blocks your sight so you can't see as much of the bottom rail especially when you're standing like it completely blocks it. it really doesn't help when you're trying to outfit build so it's really important to me to have all of my cuffs rolled up so that the line of vision isn't really hindered too much and I'm also just going to tuck that behind there it just really helps to keep everything pushed back a little bit more I also do this with my coats quite often as well I'll push them back behind this lower rail and it just neatens everything up. I've also just moved around some of my items. So I had two knitted jumper dresses and they had 
this in between them and they're on my knitted stuff is always on these hangers because they're really easy slip you don't have to fight with hangers to get stuff off so i always have my knitwear on these rose gold ones all of my hangers that are rose gold are from zara home and then the gold ones are from I believe they're from HomeSense, but Amazon do some, so I will link some in the info box. But anyway, so I like to group the hangers together. If I'm going to have mismatched hangers, they at least have to be grouped together. So I just move those around just to make it look a bit neater and a bit more aesthetically pleasing. I also like to make sure everything is kind of showing. So sometimes I literally just go through and do this and kind of pull bits out, make sure you can see all of the different sleeves so that when I'm getting ready, I really do see everything. But yeah, those are the things that are very, very important to me is that there's a good amount of spacing, hangers, lengths of sleeves and hems, and then obviously our tones. There's nothing worse for me than when I look back at my old wardrobe and all the hangers were mismatched and finger spacing was not something I knew about. And it just, it did not look as nice as this. This actually could be even nicer if I was more of a minimalist. This would be absolutely gorgeous. Unfortunately not, but it's still pretty good. What I might do at some point is just have a real fiddle with like this area here and just kind of move bits around so we don't have black sitting next to each other. I really like to break everything up but I will be putting some of my new items from my most recent haul into this wardrobe soon so hopefully I'll be able to position those in and break it up. I'll be doing that in a little bit but yeah this is just what we're working with and hopefully when Carla comes around as well she spends so long kind of going backwards and forwards and making sure she's really really happy with this so it's just kind of taught me that you have to have a lot of patience if you want like a really beautiful kind of nicely presented wardrobe but yeah very happy with that it's a really good easy quick cleanup so next I'm gonna move on to this area over here I'll take that out in a bit if I feel like I need to that's how it normally looks by the way so I've got my puffer coats and everything is kind of nicely spaced out I tuck my sleeves in because I've got rolling wardrobe doors so I like to tuck the sleeves in so that they don't get in the way it just makes everything look a lot neater and then I've got my longer coats that start after the washing basket so yeah I'll see how I get on with that next I am going to just neaten this up a bit because this pile is getting a bit out of control and if you fold things neatly enough I can have a really nice stack here and a nice stack here that isn't like a jaunty angle I'm not quite sure what's going on there I think it's this throwing things off but yeah I'm just gonna have a neaten up of this bit and then move on to up there One of the best things that I ever learned from Carla in terms of like folding jeans was when you're folding denim or even any trouser really and you want it to look neat when you fold it so they all sit kind of in unison together. This bit here, this pointy bit, fold it in and if you have to fold like a fair bit of the jean in to make it like say it's like a low rise and the rest of your jeans are high rise, fold as much of the jean in as you can to kind of get it to sit how you want because some jeans like these flares for example are a lot wider naturally so they sit really out of line with the rest of my jeans so that's just a little tip let's see if i can do this for you Fold it like that and then i kind of fold my jeans almost into thirds instead of in half and in half again just because i fold them like that so that you can see i don't know if you're gonna be able to see because the weather is awful today and it's so dark i fold it halfway over the pockets so that you can see that but if you do half and then half again and then fold it in half so that you can see the pocket, it ends up being really bulky. So I've folded it over kind of three times. Tuck that in because this is a flare. So it's really sticking out. So I just tuck that under. This looks really complicated and Carla could probably do it in like two minutes flat with no issue. But yeah, so we have it folded like this you can see the pocket so like when you have distressed denim and stuff like that you can usually tell your distressed denim from your normal like denim by the pockets they'll normally do something like that so I can normally identify a pair of jeans by the distressing on the pocket so it's just a little tip for you if you want to kind of be able to see what you've got a bit more easily. Hello. 
Now, this does mean that I have a few more bits to sort out down here. Oh, you need to go up there too. I've got some tops, which are more tank tops than t-shirts. And I actually think that I would prefer to just have my t-shirts here and then all my tank tops and bodies together in this set of drawers here. For anyone else, this chest of drawers is from West Elm. I would highly not recommend it. It's actually like closed in. So if you ever lose a sock down the back, you can't get it out really easily. These drawers are quite hard to get out. And it just means that your drawer's not gonna close clothes always get stuck in there's a little like ledge here don't know if you can see that so this runs the whole way along and it actually just takes up so much more space and if your clothes like here kind of lean over it doesn't always close like it will kind of do that and then it will bounce back and I'll like push it shut and it just won't close properly and sometimes it's even worse than that like I can't get it to do what it does when it's at its worst but it drives me up the wall this is something i'm going to sort as well i actually have drawer dividers for inside this is i put my pajamas away really badly this morning so this isn't the best example but i have ikea drawer dividers and they are an absolute godsend so this drawer is underwear i need to sort that today because there's rogue bikinis in there and it's all just overflowing so this one is kind of my bodies which were all neatly rolled. This top is the anomaly that's kind of like fucking everything up. Just random kind of tops, pajamas. I've got all my silk pajamas kind of folded in there. And this is my gym wear. So I had a bit of an argument with this drawer the other night. Normally my socks come down to here and it all sits quite neatly, but loads of stuff ended up falling down the back. We were like taking these drawers apart at midnight to try and like sort it out. So yeah, me and these drawers are not the best friends right now, but this is an example of how good the ikea dividers are and how neat they can make storing your clothes so this is what my all my drawers should look like all the time but sadly just my i like to keep my gym wear in order and that's been my priority apparently then i've got loungewear that i'm going to put up here and then i'm going to sort through some of my old loungewear because they're this is like a really old pair of fake tan pants that I wear and stuff like that and just like jumpers that I haven't worn in ages but the last clear out I was like I'll see if I miss them and if I don't then it's time to say goodbye like this jumper here is god like seven or eight years old so yeah just gonna have a quick squeeze through everything and yeah then I'll be pretty much done so lots of you who are new here might be wondering why I spend just like so much time organizing my life because i think a lot of my vlogs and stuff are centered around sorting my life out and the reason for that is quite simple um i just don't think there's any point in having like a nice wardrobe nice clothes nice home nice things if you are not going to keep them nice and i really do find like i think it's like your clothes just keep better if you store them nicer and you're a bit more like kind to them so it's really important to me i just don't see the point especially when i move and i finally get to hopefully one day design a full like wardrobe room i just think there's no point in having something that's like super super gorgeous and then you open like the cupboard doors and you know your clothes are just like falling out and it's all just like gone to shit a little bit so yeah, that's why I'm so picky with like having hangers that are all the same. And I know lots of people are probably looking at this like, who has the time? Like seriously, who has the time? I make the time. It's very, very important to me, especially because like my clothes are a big part of my job. I just think that it should be a priority. And it's why I really, I don't just have Carla come in and kind of do her thing and then leave. Like I really spend a lot of time learning from her and really trying to like understand why she does what she does and the method behind it because i think it just makes my wardrobe neater in between her like popping over and kind of having a look at look around at things she takes a big deep breath before she looks at everything but i also think it's like helpful for you guys as well so that's why i go to all this effort i just rolled all of my basics and i'm just slowly you've unrolled yourself just slowly popping them in i've also got like little strappy tops that are more for the summer and i've got like my new knitted zara ones which are going in there and i also as i'm like taking things out and like re-rolling them i just kind of inspect everything i was doing that with the t-shirts as well there was one t-shirt that i was like it's got a weird mark on it so it's going in the wash and hopefully it'll be fine but yeah i like to inspect everything make sure it's all still good you know just keep on top of things so yeah i'm gonna pop all of these bodies and tops and everything back in this now and i'm going to do it in color order because <laughs> this is me we're talking about 
well, as do you expect. One jumper that I don't know what to do with. It's longer sleeved, but it's like a ribbed basic. I might have to put it with the t-shirts because it's too bulky to go in this drawer. these a little refold but I'll do that when I actually get my pajamas out tonight but yeah that is so much better I'm so happy with that also another absolute wardrobe gem is this stool I believe it's from Ikea you can get it now on Amazon which is amazing I will link it in the info box but it's so great for being able to get up high to all of my things because I cannot reach up here. I normally have to get, if I don't have the stool available, I'd have to get Lauren or Ryan to help me put things up here, especially when it comes to like changing my bedding has always been so difficult. It's not too expensive, cannot recommend it enough. It has changed the game for me. I am like proper independent woman vibes. Yes, and I'm gonna use my independent woman vibes to uh, sort out. <laughs> my Ariana Grande match apparently. <laughs> really really happy with how all of this is looking though, it's great. I feel like Carla's probably going to come around and want to reorganise that a little bit but that's fine. I'm still, I'm learning and I'm still doing a good job so yeah, really happy with that. So I thought I'd show you this. This looks really crazy right now, but it will get better, I promise. One of the things that I really try and do when I'm folding my loungewear, just to make it look a little bit less chaotic, is to have, if they've got like a slogan on the front or anything, have that visible so that, because obviously a lot of this is black, if it's just folded up normally and I can't see the logo, I don't know what it is when I'm searching for it up there. Yeah, so when that is amongst like similar colours like this, it's still really easy to see. And what I also like to do when I fold things is I like to kind of have it so... I don't know which is best to show you. I guess this cardigan is a good example. As you can see, I've kept its outer seams on show and I do this with the trousers as well. So actually I haven't done it with that one. I need to do that. So that bumpy bit that I was talking about folding in with the jeans, I try and make sure that's on the side that we're not seeing when it's sat up there. I do this when I hang my trousers as well. And it just means that you get a cleaner line. So I think I can show you here. The bumpy bit, your bum bit is at the back and your clean line is at the front. And when you do that with all of your items, it just means that you get a much cleaner line with all of your bottoms. So I've adopted the same strategy with my trousers as well. So where possible folding that kind of bum bit in, just making sure it's not seen and making sure that when I kind of pile things on top of each other, uh, it's more of a clean line. And the same with my cardigan, so I've kind of kept the outer line of the cardigan towards, th this will be the front of the wardrobe, and then the sleeve section where it's all bumpy and weird towards the back. So this is my camel pair of trousers, and this is the outer line. As you can see, it just looks a lot cleaner, but you can also tuck the bum bit in, and at least that makes it kind of look a little bit neater like this. If you don't want to do that, you can also have just this side of your knitwear on show. I just struggle with it that way because then I can't differentiate between whether it's the jumper or the set of bottoms. and colour coordinated. I can see what everything is. The kind of grosser, older stuff that I really don't reach for very much, apart from when I need to like wear some seriously slobby clothes, is kind of towards the back. It's all just, it's all looking really good. So that's what that side looks like. I need to check the other side now. See what you look like. Nice and bare. Okay, great, because my bedding needs to go back in there after it's done on the radiator. Just need to sort out my Ariana Grande batch right up there at the back, but 
happy with that okay so i've had a little play that's what that's looking like i've left space up the back because i've got some new towels and the old ones will go up there i actually found so many old towels from my old house which you know when you keep something like just in case and i found all of them up the back of my wardrobe so that was where i was like surely i don't have that much loungewear that was what was taking up the space so good to know because i was like seriously how has it got this out of hand it's fine it's all fine i'm so happy with this looks so much better Woo okay so i've popped a few of my new zara bits in and this is how we are looking i might see if carla wants to come around and just like rejig this play with it but for the most part i'm really happy with this i also just want to note on my knitwear because i know there will be so many people that are already probably commenting and screaming at me about hanging my knitwear i only hang knitwear that i know can take being on one of these hangers and that won't get out of shape if it does get out of shape then of course i go to folding it i also find that black knitwear tends to get misshapen by hangers a lot more i'm assuming it's because of the dye process it does change the way fabric behaves and i don't ever have any issues with any of this knitwear this one's new so we'll see but i don't have any issues with any of it being on the hangers and that's also why i use the slippy hangers for it so that when i'm taking it out the wardrobe it doesn't pull and it doesn't get stretched because the rest of my hangers i'm not sure if i showed you but they are oh i have some over here the rest of my hangers are black velvet and they've got a gold top my other wardrobe room has a rose gold top this is how i know when things are really out of hand if you're getting a rose gold topped hanger over in this wardrobe that's how i know that i need to do a clear out because it means i'm running out of hangers yeah so i use either a black velvet one for most things to stop them slipping off like i said get them ho from home sense or amazon if not i use these rose gold hangers from zara home i will link them if i can or i'll link anything similar but these are what i use for my knitwear just because things pull off really easily i would also use it for t-shirts anything that you have to basically fight with to get out of your wardrobe i'm not about that life it's one of the things that makes me rage in life the most so that is uh, that's why i use those and it's fine for knitwear so far i haven't had any issues at all i was expecting this cardigan to maybe get some kind of like bump in the shoulder but honestly everything is fine like none of you have ever seen me with weird like bumpy clothing so don't worry about my clothing you guys so that is me pretty much done for today i think lovely this coat is just not you're not playing my game today are you honey i actually think it's because there's less coats in there now it's like creeping back out i'm really happy with this section up here can you tell so it is a little bit later i've had some lunch i have got the most monumental headache but i have some new bits that i thought i'd maybe do a try on so i've got a net to order here asos bits here so i'm gonna get stuck in i am really looking forward to unboxing the bits from net Porter so so excited there's a pair of sandals in there that i just can't wait to get my hands on so yeah let's open this quickly talk you through my ASOS order so to start off with we have this bando swimsuit it's got a little tie that goes around the waist as well it's in like a minty almost like a sage green but like it's more pastel than your kind of like very natural sage green which is kind of next next door we've got this swimsuit from boohoo it's one shoulder again sage green like stretchy one size fits all but I don't actually think it is a one sizer I believe, I believe I bought this in a tent. Yeah. So this one has like padded boobs, which I don't know how I'm going to get on with this because I've got enough boobs already, but we'll see. This one doesn't at all. I've got this bikini in a corally color. This might go back purely because I've got something very similar over there, but I really like the nude tone of this and I have this shape already, but in a pink. I just know I like it. So I picked it up and we'll see i have this little hat i think this would be good for the gram so i'm probably not going to try this on now you'll see it on instagram if it's decent if it photographs well uh, i'm not going to be able to tell until i'm actually like photographing it i have this throw on it's just in a like animal print 
of some kind. I really like it. I saw something similar on Netaport. And what I usually do is I look on Netaport for things that I like and then I go onto ASOS and try and find similar things. I found something similar, so this was it. I then also have a few black bikini sets that were similar to things that I saw on on Netaport and I liked. So um, that's going to be a look. And then we also have some things that I saw on Netaport that I just loved and I couldn't find anything else like it. I actually really struggled with hats, funnily enough. I looked on Zara and on ASOS and I couldn't find something that was like the same as this. Um, similar size, like similar kind of like straw tone. This is actually a lot more firm than I was expecting, but I think that will work quite well because normally these hats end up looking disheveled really, really quickly because they're so floppy and easily like um, crumpled. Yeah, we'll see. It's from a brand called Sensi Studio. I got it in a size medium fits my head quite well so apparently i have a medium sized head if anyone was wondering i also have this bag it's a really big nude beach bag from cult gaia i think it is i love this brand they are really really great for beach bags beach wear in general i'm a big fan of theirs and then also have chloe sandals i have been kind of eyeing these up for a little while and i just think they're really really cute i really like chloe sandals i had a pair of their greek style sandals i can't really think of what to call them but they sadly got i think a shampoo exploded on them a couple of years ago and i was really sad because i loved them so much these will most likely be my sandal of the summer my ysl sandals from last summer are also still going so strong so yeah i don't think i bought a ton of summer shoes last summer but i thought i'd pick these up this year and then i also have a swimsuit from Nzuji. I'm gonna say that's how you pronounce it. I already have this in a deep forest green from last year, but I'm doing a shoot when I go away and I need something kind of a corally, peachy toned, and I thought this would be perfect. So I picked this up and their swimsuits are like incredible quality, so, so thick. Nice little swimsuit that costs the bomb, basically. Yeah, I'm gonna try this on right now and show you what I think. Show you what I think. Tell you what I think. We'll get that. Definitely feel like I should have filmed these cutaways before I ate lunch, but we're gonna roll with this. This is the Boohoo one-shouldered uh, swimsuit. I actually don't know if one-shouldered is necessarily the most flattering on me, but I really like them. I actually have a black one-shouldered swimsuit from, I think it was ASOS. Their own swimwear is actually really good. And I've worn the black one-shouldered one so much and I will probably take it with me on this next trip as well. But I just really love this green tone. It's really gorgeous. Sorry, the light is not ideal in here. When I turn the lights on, it everything just basically looks like grim. And when I have the lights off, everything basically just looks grim. So I'm just trying to work with as much natural light as possible here. But yeah, hopefully you can see. So it's got this like ribbed texture. I actually really don't mind the padding in this. I think sometimes it does help to make swimmer a little bit more flattering. Yeah, that is what it looks like. That's what the butt looks like. I do wish that they'd make these like designs slightly better over the bum. I do find that's like the one thing that I hate about high street swimwear is that is often one thing that really gets overlooked and it's such an important part of swimwear. So yeah, could be better, just like a little bit higher i just think it's so much more flattering a bit like that just a little bit more flattering i know not everyone loves it but yeah that cut is just right across your ass cheek but other than that it's a really really lovely swimsuit i'm not actually sure on this one i would love to know your thoughts i don't know if it's because my body is actually quite short and maybe this actually is a little bit too long i just find it's crinkling up a lot um i actually prefer the butt cut on this one. I just think it's a lot more flattering than the other one. It has more of a sheen to it that I didn't think that it originally had when I was first looking at it when it was on the sofa. It's got like this kind of slight metallic-y finish to it, which I actually think makes it look a little bit more expensive than it is, basically. I do like the tie around the waist. I do think it's kind of annoying that it's not pre-tied or like there isn't kind of I don't know, some way to have it like there more as a decorative thing, but that it doesn't actually disturb you when you're like putting the swimsuit on. Because I know that's why they will have made it self-tie, but I just think this could have been slightly better. Just because I think it's really easy to make this look messy when you tie it, whereas if it was like a pre-designed, like pre-placed, fastened on tie, it would just look really, really neat and really perfect and just kind of make the whole look a little bit more 
premium but i do like the fact that it has a tie waist because it means like when you're on holiday you've had quite a few cocktails you've had a lot of pringles and that kind of salt and all of that alcohol is like just sitting there the little tie just kind of hides a little belly so i do think it's quite flattering but yeah other than that not much else to say i'm not sure i'm gonna go and ask lauren now what she thinks but yeah i'd love to hear your thoughts this one i really like though how they call these one size bikinis i will never ever know because spoiler they're not i like it i like the color of these it's actually darker on me than i thought it was going to be i don't know why yeah i just really thought it was gonna be slightly lighter when i put it on but i think when you're on holiday with a really nice tan this would be an amazing bikini i love the bottoms on these i think they i always think they fit so well yeah i'm very happy with this one i feel like the light is not the cutest for trying on swimwear today but i'm just gonna roll with this because I want to show you what the things look like on so yeah i'm just kind of trying to stretch this one out a bit to be honest because when they are like taken off and they're in their packaging they go really really small and i feel like sometimes you just gotta stretch them out let them know who's boss but i'm definitely gonna keep these they're really cute so then we have the little throw on what do you call these like beach cover up it's really really cute i've just sewn it on with the bag from netaport so i'm just kind of like playing around with things at the moment this cover-up was originally purchased to go with the black bikinis that i have but i thought i'd just show you it with the new one on because i think the tones still go really nicely together and it works with my little beach bag so yeah it's cute i like it it's not too long either i actually do quite like a long cover-up though but the long ones are usually a bit too long on me to be honest you could also belt this as well and have it as more of a like dress if you wanted to so i was really excited about the swimsuit what i've done here <laughs> you might be noticing they're slightly odd i've showed you what they are actually like where they actually come to and then where i would ideally like them to be so when i wear these i would just like hoik them up a little bit because they're black you can't really tell that you've done that it's a little bit like gapey on the back and the belt is just like going wild it's not it's very very loose like i've got a lot of extra material and i don't know if it's meant to be like that so i don't know i might try this on again tomorrow hopefully there'll be some decent lighting and i can kind of see what it will look like so i envisioned it being worn though just in case anyone was wondering i really like the kind of mix of the print and then the little tortoiseshell buckle this is a little bit creasy actually at the moment i don't know if you'll be able to tell because it came completely like it wasn't like laid out flat but yeah it's cute I really like it as like a an outfit so this is the and other stories bikini set i actually think i prefer this one it fits a lot more snugly around the bottoms the top the top is like borderline too small and annoyingly i know that if my boobs expand as they do at a certain time every month they just double in size it's wild honestly the things my body does sometimes this might not be a goer which is annoying because I'm actually going on this trip that I need this for within the same current cycle that I'm in at the moment. So I know that this could be a not not a goer, basically. But it's really cute. It's actually not super elastic-y. It's got these two buttons at the back. I don't know if you can see them. It's going to be really hard to show. But it's got two little buttons at the back and you have to get them both done up to get it on because it's not stretchy which is not ideal really and like i said if my boobs get any bigger i think they're going to be like fully emerging out of the side of this but those cons aside i do really really like it i think the whole thing fits really really well just very very snug to my body yeah, i just think it's a little bit more flattering than the other one i guess the top helps a lot because it's just a more flattering cut if you've got larger boobs than the straight across like bandeau style the bottoms i guess being a bit more fitted are also kind of helping as well i do always find that i look so much better if i have a low waisted very small bottom high waisted does tend to really accentuate my hips and i know they say that if you've got what is it if you've got like more hips you should wear high waisted and i i don't agree with that i actually don't agree with that i think that it kind of accentuates it even more which isn't i don't know isn't a bad thing but it's not necessarily the vibe that i'm going for sometimes but yeah i think these are really cute i love the tortoiseshell buttons i don't know if you'll be able to see this but they're really really sweet little kind of like brown 
buttons and it's the same on the back as well um i really like these and i think they'll look really really cute with the kimono this is what we're working with i think it's cute i really like the brown of this and then you've got like the tortoiseshell buttons that was why both of the black swimsuits that i bought had tortoiseshell buttons i just think it kind of mixes quite nicely together i've got some decisions to make so i'm not keeping both if i don't go with either of these i'm just gonna go with an already existing black bikini i hope i have one of those i think i have one of those all these cutaways are doing are reminding me that I really need to fake tan the top of my legs. Um, and I look like I'm in Baywatch, but I'm not mad about it. This is the Hunza G swimsuit. I love these swimsuits. This cut is beautiful. I really, really like it. I just like the fact that it's way more flattering on the bum than any of the others that I've tried on today. And actually my green one that I already have from the same brand isn't as like high on the hips as this so if you are interested but you just don't like the cut then they definitely do a variety so they're definitely worth checking out still but yeah i really like this color it's really pretty it's just a nice like corally almost like terracotta color on camera it's a little bit more when you get it in the sunlight it's a little bit more like of a peachy orange but still kind of an orange i don't know but it's perfect for what i need so that's great and i'm really happy that it's like a flattering cut sometimes i wish swimsuits had a bit more like structure around here i think it would just make them more flattering but it's still cute i'm looking forward to wearing this one i would also like to know how we all feel about hats lauren is not sure i think it will look really cute on the gram that's where we've got to so far today <laughs> i think it's cute i really like this one i like the fact that it has a brown tone around the base of the hat rather than a black one i really like the gucci one that has the little bumblebee on it i don't know i think black is a little bit less soft though in the beachy texture like i would wear this hat like on the beach so having black with it i'm like mm, i don't know and obviously just a lot of the swimwear that i wanted to wear on this trip is not black so i just thought this would go slightly better but this bag is just the cutest i would also love to know your thoughts on this but i think it's really sweet it's a nice ginormous it's practical maybe borderline impractical beach bag i'm definitely gonna have to make sure this fits in my suitcase but i do love the texture of it it's a really practical kind of like almost like waterproof wicker texture that's gonna sound really silly unless you know the feeling but it's almost like wicker but not it doesn't feel like it's gonna be porous if that makes sense so yeah i really like it. it's got a little bamboo strap very cute these are the sandals i really like them i think they're really cool i will wear these in the uk as well as when i'm away on holiday they're super cute i feel like some people are gonna hate these but some of you are gonna love these if anyone wants to know i got them in a size five i will link them in the info box i'll let you know over the summer if they're comfy and i will be getting a pedicure before i go away yeah i'm clothes again having probably my first drink of the day brian is out tonight so i think it's going to be one of those nights where i get a chinese and sit and binge watch gilmore girls and i'm very very excited about that so yeah i think that's going to be it for me today i really hope you enjoyed spending the day with me seeing me organize my wardrobe and i hope those tips really helped you do let me know if you reorganize your wardrobe send me pics you know i love it when you tag me in instagram stories so yeah let me know i'm gonna go i've got the worst hiccups and they're not stopping so i'm just gonna go i hope you're all having the best day and i'll see you guys again very very soon Bye. <laughs>